and wind stage helps to perform aggregation operations on the array fields. Let's look at the syntax. On wind, then column, and then array reference expression. It means that as a value, we pass expression that refers to the field name of the input documents that contains arrays. Examples. Unwind tags or unwind hobbies. Both tags and hobbies are arrays. What happens here? We take input documents and if document contains, for example, tags array, we will split this document to several documents. And each of those documents will contain one raw value of the array instead of array. Let's look at a diagram. Here it is. On this diagram, we have one document as an input. And this document contains tags array. And there are three strings in this tags array. First, second and third. And let's suppose that we pass this document to the unwind stage. And we will unwind by tags field name. At the output of this operation, we will get three documents. Each document will have same fields as the input document. But one field will differ, and it is tags. Instead of array, tags field will contain string values in this example. So in the first document it will be tags first, in the second document it will be tags second, and in the third document it will be tags third. And again, all other fields will be the same as in the document 1 at the input. And after this unwind stage, you can pass resulting documents to the other stage, for example group stage, and then perform grouping by text field. Let's summarize. Unwind stage takes documents as an input and then produces several documents per each input document. In this example, we produced three documents for one input document, because array tags contains three elements. If input document contains, for example, 15 elements in the array, then we will produce 15 output documents just for one input document, and so on. Ok, let's move to the examples, and first we will look how Unwind works with the project stage. See you next.